Moving on, Ed Herman, C.B. Dalloway. This one uh, has underdog written all over it. Ed Herman, two to one dog in this fight. And let me check my CG Sports app. Yep, Ed Herman's on here at plus 170. And this one I did bet, will bet, love this bet. Ed Herman is my favorite underdog of this card. C.B. Dalloway, for some reason, continues to get more respect in the odds and from betters and odds makers than he actually performs. You know, he's lost three straight fights. He's coming off the biggest layoff, I think, of his professional career and three straight losses. Got knocked out by Nate Marquardt in his last. And when we look on the other side at Ed Herman, we have a consistent grinder who always beats the guys who are either ranked or not ranked, you know, just barely ranked or not ranked, and loses to the top guys. His four losses since 2012 are Nikita Kreloff, Derek Brunson, Tali Slaytes, and Jacare Souza. That's a pretty strong middleweight group, whereas he beats the guys he's supposed to, including Rafael Natal, Tim Bosch, who, who beats a lot of middleweights. You know, yeah. Ed Herman wins these kind he's... of fights and then loses the step-up fight after. <laughs> I like him in this fight. Uh, if you log on right now, you can still get him at plus 170. I took him at plus 170. They have similar styles. They if do. it were a pick I think I'd like Herman. But at that plus 170, man, I can't pass it up. That's a hell of a deal, and it's not too late to get it. C.B. Dalloway's last win is in May of 2014 versus Francis Carmont, who hasn't even been in the UFC for two years. And he's coming off the shelf. Yeah. Been on the shelf. Coming off the shelf, and we talk about sometimes coming off those big knockout losses can change your the way you fight. He's coming the off the fight. shelf, and he's coming off a huge KO loss to a guy he was supposed to beat in Nate the Great. And yeah, I, I, I like Ed Herman on this one. Uh, C.B. Dalloway, to me, seems to have, uh, well, when I watched him fight a few times before, it seems like he has a little problem with his chin, you know? Yeah, I think um, Ed's got a little more left in the tank at this phase of their careers. I mean, they're both journeymen. Yeah. Uh, but I th- I do like Ed a little bit better yeah. in this. And fight. I like it if it if the going gets tough. I like Herman and Dog fight. Yeah, I do yeah. too. 